Hello everyone. Here we go again, another Nightbird live commentary. I'm going to try and talk about uh, what I do in the Nightbird uh, in a normal match to keep myself alive. How, how I play and everything like that. So here we go. Just going straight into the spawn there, full aggression. I've already been stinging it up, so that's probably less than ideal, but... Uh, I'm just using this little island as my cover Fire over here. Looking around, here. looking for threats. I, know, I understand literally everyone's going to be here right I've now, so... Hostile. Let's see if we can, you know... Enemy anger the hornet's nest immediately and get get a really... Oh, I really don't want him pushing here! <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll anger the hornet's nest and see if we can get him biting, dude. Alright. I'm just going to keep hitting E1 right here. Looking for people that have pushed away. There we go. Mark. <laughs> oh, look at that tanker, dude. Alright. Oh, Liz missile. That was close. Enemy spotted. All I'm doing here is just being sort of like a front line to clean up any infantry running through. Eventually, they're going to scatter a little bit. Getting a foothold on how people are playing the match. People always play it differently. It seems we've got some back of the map campers over here, so I'll get that guy on my flare out there. And I'm pretty much just playing safe here now. I've got no flares. Hiding behind this island here. This 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 island is pretty much the best place to be on this map. You can get jumped by a lot of things, and it can like you have to leave the area. But Oh, what do we got? Something's locking me up here? Oh no. Oh, it's a stinger boy. Out in the open. Like that. You can see that, uh, you know, people do try and shut it down, but... I just use this low area right here. Try not fall into the magneto. Wait for my flares to come back and then try and peel in and get some kills without anyone looking at me. That's pretty much how you want to be flying the Nightbird to get high kills. You want you want to get kills without without everyone looking at you at the same time. Here we go. We got a little Ford Ranger right there. Deal with that real quick. It's like an electric Ford Ranger. So they've got C1. It's all locked up. So E1 is pretty much my uh, safest play right now. People are always going to be spawning here, uh, and it also Enemy provides play. me with the most <laughs> cover. Little rail hack right there. I don't like getting rail hack, so I make sure to shut that down. Oh, this guy's got something. I'm going to avoid that. I've seen him underneath me there. Thank There's the rail hack. There's nothing I can do about it this time. Very powerful little iPad in a gun game. As you can see, what the, the more I sit here, the more these... Uh, the enemy seems to just spawn here and get upset about me existing. <laughs> so I just let him shoot, use his cover. Here you go. You wanna shoot it, bud? Oh, what was that? Oh. That was scary. Dune? Yeah, nice. Sometimes it's good to read the name to make sure you're getting the right target. Just in case someone else snuck in there. And then you don't get the guy that nearly kills you. See if we can kill this guy before he shoots. Beautiful. People are just going to keep spawning here. We'll start getting jet rams and stuff. But there's literally nothing else I can do. Like, if I go over to D1, I'm out in the open. There's no cover at all. So... This is just playing smart and... It's really up to the enemy to stop spawning here, right? Force me to go somewhere else. Watch that hostile. I wanna, I wanna go do some barrel rolls and stuff, but this is like the best area to be. Where is this guy? Found a tango. I don't even think that was him. There we go. Enemy spotted. As you can see, they're just all spawning here and doing not much. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. We waited out again. <laughs> pretty pretty uh, exciting Nightbird gameplay, huh? This is pretty much how, how you have to play now. Uh, 
There's so many counters in the game and they're so powerful, but if you don't play like this and you let them touch you, you're getting taken out so fast. Survivability is everything in my opinion. Learn to, learn to aim after that. Learn your survivability, learn to maneuver the Nightbird low, utilize your covers, keep safe spaces. Oh, here we go. Oh, just like that. So I'm actually concerned of that guy on the pond hawk right there. Hey, He's getting clever with it. <laughs> Let's see if we can do Fortunately, no oh, one's bit... jumped on him. He He's got the right idea though. That would have forced me away, up. but unfortunately he didn't teamwork it properly. <laughs> oh. Watch that, so, watch that. We'll peel around this side now. We're getting locked up from spawn over there. We'll flare it up. And uh, basically what's happening here, there, there are infantry players playing this game right now that are not once ever running into the OP Nightbird, right? But these 10 guys that just keep spawning here over and over again are not learning from their mistakes. They're just feeding me kills. They're not doing anything new. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Oh, well. I mean, how do you fix this, right? People, you could, you could argue, like, put dedicated AA into the spawn there, like, like BF4 and everything, and remove... Um... Stop, stop like base camping and everything like that. But at the same time, it's like, okay, do I go to B1 and do nothing? Like, you know what I mean? There's, they're not leaving this area, so I'm forced to play here. And it's only, it's, it's the only safe place in the game to play. So it's, it's like a, it's a double-edged sword. I need to play here and the enemy aren't leaving here. And we've got an attack heli there. I mean, that's something that could kill me here too. I'm just playing low. He's obviously not fully there with it with his attack helicopter. I'm actually more concerned by people with stingers than this guy. But I'll go for him anyway, for the sake of my team. We'll flare that up. We'll go do something fun. On the, we'll go have some fun while we wait for flares to come back, I suppose. No smoking. I mean, I could mix the game up a little bit. We'll, we'll play over here and see what happens. No cover. That's immediately... What's yeah, that's exactly what happens. There's no cover, so once you get locked onto... You, What's that you gotta go back to the... I mean, look at all the enemies, though. That is beautiful. Uh, we can use this little island here. Flare it up. There's nothing you can do. You gotta back out. I think I'm best off going back to E1. Because the second I peek here, I'll run it low. There's also tanks looking at me and stuff. I'll run it low and hopefully no one looks at me cross-eyed. This tall tank's squaring me up, isn't he? Enemy spotted! Oh no! Oh no, this is bad! Peel, 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 peel! <laughs> oh no! I'm keeping it low! Nice, I got away just in time. What have we got up here? Couple snipers. Couple nerf nightbird snipers doing nothing for the team whatsoever. They're all capped and they think it's a good idea to just... Snipe? Watch that hostile! Tree that. Oh, hello. Tango's that tree... Oh, I didn't mean to flare! Marking hostile. I was gonna say, that tree actually saved me from having to flare. What's that I flared anyway. Or was that the ready, you know? Marking Tango. Not that guy, incredibly predictable. That's the thing with these guys on Stingers, you know? Like, they don't Marking mix Tango. it up. They don't try to be fancy with it. The Stinger is a powerful tool. It's very effortless. And um, it's it's actually not hard to hit. But they're, they're running at me in the same way they have from the start of the match. They haven't learned anything. Marking us. Oh. <laughs> nice. If you don't have to flare, it's best, you know, it's best to hold on to them. 
So what's Hold happening here point. now? I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm actually full backpedaling. They managed to uh, shut down my uh, ooh, 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 little zone there to the point where I couldn't go back. So there you go. There was enough pressure for me to peel back, but I'm coming right back in. The whole enemy is here at E1. Enemy's if I target prioritize, is good enough. I should be able to. Marking tango. I should be able to get a couple kills. Surprised the enemy isn't like typing. <laughs> oh man, you've almost got to feel bad for this enemy team. They are getting hard dominated by my team right now. I mean, a lot of the enemy is like not doing much and they're just kind of focused on me, but. What? I mean, at the same time, they kind of have to, right? So I'm going to get a kill and peel out. These guys are going to try and run to the edge of the mountain there and try and hit me. And I think there's so many of them there that I'm best off coming behind this island. And we'll wait it out. I might even bait a couple lock-ons and see where they're at. Here we go. There you go. Holy moly! That had some curvature to it. I'm glad that didn't pop me out, actually. I did not expect that instant Mac 9 rocket to peel up and over the top of them. <laughs> it was meant to just be a baited rocket. The bloke is probably like celebrating right now. He's like, I hit him, I hit him. I need to be real careful here. I'm in, a, I'm, a, I'm in an actual really dangerous position. Stealth Heli is starting to get look at me cross-eyed, so we'll uh, deal with him immediately. Fun fact, the Stealth Heli, the stealth heli is actually a massive counter to the Nightbird. It can kill you and pop you out immediately. But you just gotta, like, shoot it properly, I guess. That guy didn't really know what he was doing. Hostile spotted! 110 meters! Just floating around. You know, it's, the funny thing about this is, this this sort of gameplay that I'm doing right now is kind of like, I never really played before, but, uh, oh, there it is. 80 and 0, the game ended with, uh, quite a lot of tickets left. I was going to say, like, this is sort of like the play style of BF4 where you just sit back, sit in a safe space and just get as many kills as you can, leaving yourself, you know, untargetable. But, um... I'm not a BF4 expert, so some people are going to tell me I'm dead wrong, which is completely fine. Um, GG's, I guess. My team absolutely dominated. Uh, I think I applied enough pressure there to have a lot of the enemy team just try and target me and do nothing for no one instead of capping flags. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's another Nightbird experience. It definitely isn't always like that. Sometimes they spread out, but I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Let me know in the comment section how you felt about it, uh, what you think that can be done to change that up. you got to remember, though, there's got to be a level level of playability for the Nightbird as well. Uh, once you remove that safe element right there, um, you know, forcing it all the way back to spawn where there's nothing to shoot at sort of removes, removes gameplay completely as well, and th that would be boring. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you all for watching that one, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. GG's.